So again, let's uh, work on ChatGPT. So to use ChatGPT, just go to chat.openai.com and just log in with your account or sign up if you don't have an account. So I get a Google account, so I will sign in with my Google. And here where I am. Okay, so um, we are going to try today something different. So we'll try to um, challenge the ChatGPT a little to see how useful it can be. So, um, can you give info about Joe Biden? So it's not a specific question, it is just give me some info. So in other videos I have made a specific uh, question like when did this happen? Who did this? Uh, what was this? And so on. This is uh, more of a general question. So let's see how it um, how it answers. So it gives me the poll name here, what he does, uh, what he's famous for, for the president from 2021, 2025. And um, prior to that, he was a vice president and Democratic Party. He was senator from Delaware 1972. And he was born in the University of the University of Delaware, Baltimore University of Syracuse. Okay, this is good. Okay, he was seen it in 1972. He had a reputation leading voice. Okay, that's good. Let's try then regenerate this once, see what will happen. Okay, 46 on year 2025, prior to serving, who was vice president 2014. Okay, so it is actually, I think it's the same information, but um, it just rephrased or written a different form, but it's actually the same information, just uh, in a different way. Okay, um, so let's try to see if uh, this button gives actually something different. So. Um, let's ask another question. How do search engines work? Let's try this one. Search engine using war using algorithm crawl the internet and text websites use NTC so much if you use a search query. Simplified version enters a query. Algorithm analyzes the query compared to indexed websites database. It tends a list of results to determine the relevance of useful search factors, including the content of the website and our quality links, the presence of keywords, constantly updating, and defining algorithms. Okay. So let's try regenerate again to see if it's different. Use a complex search through the vast amount of data. Um, present a search query. Analyze the query compared information sort of the index with the database of the web. Take the results based on how relevant the useful are. Uh, display them in a list. The rankings among the various factors, the relevance, the quality, the capability of those great maintenance index, session, web scrolls. Okay, so it is exactly the same answer, same information. And nothing, I think nothing more, nothing less, but rephrased. So, um... So actually, if you have a question and you are looking for an answer, it's not um, it's not very smart to use this regenerate response because it will not give you something new. It will give you the same information, but rephrased. I think it may be useful for people who try to write an essay because a lot of people think that ChatGPT they can use it to write their essays or homework or uh, some article for this work or some presentation for their work or, or something like that or some school or something like that. So in this case, reg regenerate response may be useful because. Um, I think if you found that what you have here is similar to what your friend or what your colleague have, you need to originate in some different form, then your manager, your teacher, or whoever, your professor, whoever doesn't know that you copied this from an internet, from a judgment in particular, but it's not useful if you are looking for specific information because it gives you the same information but in a different form. That's it for today, that's it for uh, this video, and thank you, see you in the next video.